hello friends welcome back to amazing knowledge so in this video we are going to see how to increase the speed of a gaussian dft calculation so most of the time the gaussian dft calculations uh, took so many days to complete the optimization or uh, vibrational calculations depending on the size of the molecular structures so if you are having a system with uh, somewhat uh, a good processing speed and ram you could increase the speed of the calculation so for that there is one small uh, technique is there so today i am going to tell that one so for that first of all you have to draw one molecule so i am taking some sample molecule and then calculate gaussian calculation setup in that i am going to do the optimization optimization at the ground state level uh, using a dft method b3 lyp and basis set is 631 okay remaining i am not going to change anything so in this sample optimization speed change i am going to do it okay so title i am giving like this so this is the important tab that link zero is there no so this is the important tab using this tab only you are going to increase the speed of the gaussian calculations so the memory limit it is given as a default and shared processor is also okay uh, given as a default so now i am going to change the memory limit in case if you are having a 4 gb or 8 gb ram in your system so you could increase that memory limit for calculation so for that you have to click uh, specify and in this unit you have to take mb and 1024 mb i am going to so 1 gb ram i am going to allot it for this calculation and coming to that shared processor uh, if you are having a quad core or uh, other uh, core processors so you can allot the number of shared processors particularly for that calculation so uh, for this calculation i am going to allot two shared processors and another one important thing is the checkpoint file you have to save that checkpoint file always for further analysis uh, here uh, specify the parent file name means in the title what name you have given in that name itself it will be saved and the location also you can select where do you want to save that checkpoint file so using this okay you could select that location also and once after that you can check in that preview in that preview now you could see the number of uh, shared processor is 2 and memory is 1024 mb if you do any mistake in these two steps also the gaussian uh, calculation it will be showing uh, errors okay so very carefully you have to select this one still you can increase the number of uh, shared processor to 3 4 like that and even you could increase this is 1 gb i have given a uh, 2 gb 3 gb okay like that you can increase it so give submit and it will be asking you to save the input file okay so i am saving sample speed and save it and i am submitting the job calculation is it done so if okay now i am going to open that uh, log file okay so this is the output of that calculation friends if this video is useful to you kindly subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries uh, please write it in the comment section thank you